Hello, in this video I'm going to review how to solve a system of equations by using the substitution method. So reminder, first when you're doing substitution method, you need to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. So you can either pick x or y to isolate on one side of the equation by itself. So for example, in this system of equations here, I would probably choose to isolate that x so that would mean I would want to subtract 2y on both sides. So if I complete step one for this process, it would look like this. x equals negative 2 minus 2y. All right, and then step two, we're going to substitute the expression from step one into the other equation and solve for the other variable. So this is the expression that I'm talking about. I'm going to be substituting that in for x because x is equivalent to that expression, so I'm, going, I'm able to substitute. So now for step two, it would look like this. I still have my three, but instead of x, I'm going to have negative 2 minus 2y. The rest of the equation stays exactly the same. And so now I have an equation with just y's in it, so I'm able to, to distribute and solve for y. So that would be negative 6 minus 6y plus 4y equals 6. I'll combine my like terms. So I have negative 6 minus 2y equals 6. Add the 6 over to the other side. And that gives me 12. Divide by negative 2. And that gives me y equals negative 6. Okay, so that's half of my solution. Remember, in a system, we're solving for both x and y. So now for our step three, we're going to substitute the value that we just found from step two, and we're going to um, put that into the revised equation from step one, and then solve. So here's my value from step two, and I'm plugging that value into my equation from step one. Okay. Now you can plug that into any equation that you want. However, this equation that we've already solved for x makes it easier to solve, so you have less solving to do in this last step if you do it that way. So x turns out to be positive 10. So my final solution would be 10 comma negative 6. So remember, in a solution, we have two lines, a system of equations, linear equations. The two lines would intersect at that point, 10, negative 6. Okay, let's do another example. So in here, it's not as obvious what um, variable to solve for. However, I would choose that first equation over the second equation because whether I solve for x or y, all of those will be divisible by its coefficient. So let's just say I'm going to solve for y this time. Okay, so step one, I would subtract the 2x. That would give me 2y equals negative 2x plus 6. I'm just used to putting it in mx plus b. That's why I put the negative 2x first. And then make sure you divide everything by 2. Some of you might have seen that all of those were divisible, divisible by 2 in the beginning, so you could have done that in the beginning as well. All right, so here's my step one equation. Step two, I'm going to substitute for y. So I'm going to be replacing that in for y. So negative 2x minus 3 instead of y, I'm putting in negative x plus 3. So now we can solve this equation that only has x's. Watch your negatives here. Negative 3 times negative x is positive 3x. And I'm going to combine like terms. So this is going to give me 1x. If I add 9 to both sides, then I get x equals 0. And that's OK. Don't let that freak you out. That is totally OK to have an answer like that. And then we're going to do step 3, which is to plug that back into that step 1 equation. y equals negative 0 plus 3. So y is equal to 3. So our answer is 0, 3. All right, so hopefully that jogged your memory. Try this one on your own. Pause the video. See if you can get it right. 
Um, and then when you unpause it, um, I'll have my answer up. Okay, so you can see my final answer is 2, negative 6. All of my work is shown, so if you need to go back and look at that, you can pause the video and check that out. Um, red is my first step, blue is my second step, green is my third step.